stage. If he begins to purge you, then he brings you to the last phase of transformation, which is mortification. And what it does in mortification is that those appetites, they will remove them from you. It's like a surgical operation. I told you, there was a time that I loved Star Lagabea. Mako Parahas. When it's chilled, we used to call it mortuary standard. You carry it and, ah, my God, your evil you will start sweating like the bottle. Makitas, Melakados. There's nothing that can quench your taste until you, you go down with that bottle. Now, if you give me, I can't drink it, it's bitter. So I'm not talking discipline, I'm talking mortification. Something, a surgery has taken place. There was a time when we were custodians of the record of football. They used to call me Skywide. Because Tony, Tommy Smith, which was one of the best analysts on ESPN, when he finished analyzing a match, he said, this is Tommy Smith worldwide. So in the studio where we watch for, because we were custodians of record, they now said, since you can't be worldwide, you are Skywide. And I bought the record of Skywide. Because the way we did it in that hall is that if somebody has topped you in record, they will dethrone you. I dethroned a Liverpool fan. They used to call him 50. He was the sky wide. I showed up. When we are talking about matches, we go to 1985. And begin to show you the record of the tournament first. And the head-to-head -head record. And you know, those days there was no internet. So we go to cafe and print and read. I used to have records in my house. We read them for the day of match. So when you are coming, you are coming with record. And when, 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 when the match is about to start, you start quoting some dates. And the things that happened. So a day came, they stood up in the hall and said, from today, they have dethroned 50. Mike, you are now the new Skywide. And I maintained that record until I stopped watching football. You couldn't take it. <laughs> but when, when we came to mortification, the Holy Ghost choked that appetite and killed it. I go to the football match. I sat down. I was dozing off. I lost interest. I go. I'm sleeping. They win, they don't win, it didn't matter anymore. And I check what is going on. Mortification. He's deadening the appetite. He's killing it. Romans chapter 8, verse 13. The Bible told us that as the final ministry of transformation. It said, and Romans 8, 13. If we live after the flesh, we shall die. But if we through the spirit mortify the deeds of the flesh. Then we shall leave. So it's by the spirit the appetites die. See, don't struggle with rules and regulations. They don't work. You already know here that the, the power that keeps you in sin is called the law of the spirit of death. So the law of the spirit of life is what we deliver you. And the way that law works is that it kills the appetite. It is when the Holy Ghost kills the appetite that they can now begin to grow you in the ways of light. And so you start migrating towards transfiguration. But you see, you must first of all be wooed so that you are crucified. That's the ministry of the cross where the Holy Ghost kills in order to make a life. Because if he doesn't carry you through the valley of mortification, all your manifestation will have a harvest for the devil. Because when you manifest, it will be pride and the devil will have a harvest. You will corrupt the sacred operations of God. So the Holy Ghost will insist that transformation will not end. Until you carry your cross and follow him. It's mortification. How many of you have experienced these things? That I'm sharing. You have experienced. Where you became more aware of the life of God. You became aware of your calling. You just discovered you are special. Because of what God is showing you. There are times when for six months. Every night you are having visions. Sometimes you are having encounters. Angels will come to your room. Did I do to deserve angelic visitation? You now tell your friends, an angel came yesterday. They will say, Really? All of that is a wooing process. That's why it's been long. You saw one. Now you need to learn the word of God and grow. You are still waiting for the angels. They won't come. They will wait for you to go now. Because they came to invite you. Now you have to go. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. <laughs> I was in the eye called Patmos. And I was in the spirit of the Lord's day. And as I turned, I heard a sound. And the moment he turned, he was in the heavens. He began to see. They come to woo you so that you can go to journey with them. 
but it will take mortification for that to happen. The second ministry of the Holy Ghost is the ministry of transformation. Ah, I have four minutes. I say I'm ending by 8, 8, 10, right? Or 8, 15. 8, 10, I have four minutes. So we have to stop. I is a body. When you are there, when you are there, when you are there, when you are, when you are there, 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 when you are there. Welcome to Nakazo Watch TV. On Nakazo Watch TV, we are a great team and work on life transforming messages that will bring you into realms of divine encounter with the world of truth. Please, don't forget to subscribe, like and share our videos. God bless you.